We will talk about noise in the air. It is called tinnitus. Tinnitus is when you have perception of noise or ringing sound in your ears when there is no any noise around. Usually in 50% of cases, especially among young people, it is caused because of noise induced hearing loss. It's responsible on 50% of cases. Usually it happens in young people who exposure noise outside noise, for example, loud music or concerts or machinery noise, or if you're occupational noise, for example, working at factory, it can cause noise induced hearing loss. And this condition also causes ringing in your ears and it's usually temporary and you will recover in 48 hours. So it's usually benign condition. Um, but if you exposure to high level of sounds and high level of noise, it can cause permanent um, deafness and permanent uh, hear loss. And what is safe level? It's important. Safe level is around 70 decibels. You can exposure 70 decibels around any time, 24 hours, and it's safe level. 70 de decibel is when person is talking calmly. That's around 70 decibel level. If person exposure around 85 decibels for eight hours or more, it can cause uh, hearing problems and damage of hearing cells, which is called higher cells and damage of higher cells, which are very sensitive, cause noise in the air and hearing problems also. And if there is very high noise, such as explosion or gunshot, at this case, person can lose, um, lose hearing instantly. It's very high decibels. It's more than uh, 118 decibels and person can uh, lose his or her hearing instantly at this case. Second, second most common cause of um, noise in the air is age-related hearing loss. Uh, age-related hearing loss is responsible on 20 to 30 percent of cases. Why it happens? It happens because of natural aging. During natural aging, our cells are destroyed over time because of exposure to noise, because of uh, chronic disease, because of inflammation, and structures deteriorate over time in the inner air, and person has altered, uh, altered perception of noise and noise in the air or tinnitus. What is prevention in this case? Prevention is reduce exposure to high noise, noise, weight loss if person is overweight or obese, exercise regularly and physical activity, control of diabetes and control of hypertension because chronic disease affects age-related hair loss. And to prevent it, you need to control your chronic diseases if exist. Third most common cause of uh, noise in the air or tinnitus is air infections. Air infections or physical blockage. Air infections happens usually in kids, in children, when they have common cold and it causes inflammation of air structures and it can cause sense of fullness in the air and noise in the air and 
deteriorate of hearing. Airwax formation is another cause. It's more commonly among older adults and airwax formation, airwax physically blocks air canal and such people losing their hair and also sometimes have uh, noise in the ears. Another cause, fourth common cause is medications. Medications are 5% responsible um, of uh, tinnitus and aspirin is most common cause. Aspirin especially in high doses and especially in prolonged period of time if you take aspirin for months, for years, it can cause tinnitus. Usually this tinnitus is temporary but if person intakes high dosage of aspirin prolonged period of time it can cause permanent uh, hair loss also. And loop diuretics, um, antidepressants also can cause uh, tinnitus and uh, some antibiotics, especially gentamicin, aminoglycosides are such antibiotics and especially gentamicin can cause tinnitus and gentamicin is considered autotoxic, autotoxic antibiotic and solution is intake lowest effective dosage. You need to intake lowest effective dosage of such antibiotics to prevent autotoxic effect. Fifth important disease is Meniere's disease. Meniere's disease is not very common disease but it's important because it's irreversible. It can cause vertigo, dizzy spells, hearing loss and tinnitus and it affects around 0.2% of world population. It's important disease. It uh, decreases quality of life importantly. That's, that's why it's very important disease. That's why we pay attention. And it causes constant noise in the ears. What is mechanism? Mechanism of many of disease isn't known, but it is thought that there is uh, fluid buildup in the inner air and that this fluid creates this noise in the air. What is solution? How can we help? We can't reverse this condition, but we can slow down or stop progress. And for, for this, physical exercise is important, weight loss is important, restriction of salt and avoid alcohol and caffeine. Steroid injection sometimes help because reduces inflammation in the air and diuretics, diuretics because of this fluid buildup in the air uh, and it can uh, remove fluid from air structures. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.